Okay, here we have a video on how to use a ruler and protractor accurately. Now with the ruler, I'm not really going to say much here because I'm hoping most students at this level can use a ruler properly. The key thing here is accuracy. Now my ruler isn't isn't uh, the right scale for uh, this video because I can I can change it and make it bigger and smaller. I can make it so it's it's not got any real. Um, scale on it. All I've got is, is so that we can actually look at how accurate we need to be. So we need to get the, the zero line as close oops, as close to the end of the line as possible. Stop. Um, got to move it up and down. Right, okay, here we go. So got to be as accurate as possible on the end of the line. Now it's not easy on the video but that's zero there. If we look at this end of the line, we've got somewhere between, it's nearly 14. Now, quite a lot of people would just be happy with putting 14, but there's no harm in being more accurate. So, 13.9 would be the exact value, and it says on here to be to the nearest 0 0.1. Okay, so on my ruler, it's 13.9. You could measure it on your ruler to see what your ruler says. And this one here is. Um, can't quite see it there. Let's move it down a little bit. Let's get it right on the end. So again, making sure it's very, very close to the zero. Ten point five. That's ten point five there. Ten point six, and it's probably just about ten point seven centimeters from my ruler. Okay. Now angles is possibly the one that causes the most problems, so I've got a, a protractor here to show you how this is done. Let's just shrink it down a little bit. Okay, so obviously you can't do that with a, with a real protractor, but uh, what you can do is move it about more easily. So the key thing about a protractor is the center. The center must go on the end of your angle you're measuring. So on the point of the angle must be the center of the protractor. Okay, and then you need to turn your protractor so that either the zero is on one line lined up, or you can turn it so that the other zero lines up. Now I would recommend that you try to make sure the outside zero lines up because on a, on a protractor that's only 180 degrees, which most people use, You've got two zeros. You've got a zero on the outside and a zero on the inside. So if you line up with the outside one, you're always going to be on the right scale. So if I'm reading this one off, now you should be able to copy this. This should have the same angle on the screen as it does on my video. So this is 55, 56, 57 degrees. Hopefully that one's 57 degrees if you measure it. Okay, maybe a good idea to pause the video and measure this one before I do it. Okay, so if I put the point, the center of the protractor on the end, now I can do things like this with this one to make it a 360 protractor. I'm going to stick to the 180 because that's the one most people have. And line up, that's the line up the 180 on the line, not the zero. I could go through this around the middle for that one and work out the angle. But like I said, it might be better to make sure you have the outside one on the zero. So we've got zero here on the outside, the center's on the end of the line. Go around here, and this is pretty close to being 80, if not 79 and a half, I would go, I would just go 80 for that one. And the last one over here. And I'm going to measure from the zero, so I want to I want to line that one up there, so I'm gonna put the center. Of the protractor on the end of the line, line up your line, the zero line, come around the outside. Now, sometimes your line's not long enough to measure it off. Now, that was quite close to being actually on that line, so I couldn't read it off as 130. Now, what I could do is spin it around and go the other way because this line's plenty long enough to read that off and just make sure I read off the inside scale to 130, 131. Or what I can do, if neither line was long enough, I can get bring in a ruler and use that 
to line that up there with that line and then read off the scale there so that would actually read it off to be 131 so you can read off using the ruler okay so that's measuring angles so we'll call that 131 now when you measure angles you have to get it within one degree for full marks and two degrees for, for one mark. It's usually two marks for getting it within two, uh, one degree.